from Bad Monkey Studios in beautiful Amish country, heard throughout these fabulous United States and around the globe on the World Wide Web. This is The B Team with Corey and Jim. I had the weirdest exchange with your wife. Did you? Not a fluid exchange. That's gross. Damn Come on, man. You. That's my wife. You don't want to start a fist no, fight on it because it's meat not. slapping. We've already I talked do, about I it. Do it do doesn't not. make for good podcasting. No, but I had the strangest thing. Okay. She came into my office and uh, reception uh, let her through the security doors. Yeah. And I'm like, Maddie, what's going on? And she was bringing something in uh, from you. Yeah. And I stood up from the desk and she came toward me like she was walking like a little too fast toward me. Like I thought. you It was a, a, I, an aggressive approach. <laughs> You were like, is she going to swing on bit. me? Not, not at that. Because Which, you she's know her. tall enough, she'd have caught you in the hip. But. Yeah. But she's, she had a big smile on her face. But she comes at me, and we meet, like, way too close. <laughs> like, we, like, 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 like you stepped in, too. Yeah, I step. I'm going toward her. She's coming toward me. And we meet. And we're, like, two and a half inches apart. So I can't get my <laughs> hand up to, like, shake her hand. <laughs> And I'm not one, you know me, I'm not one to just grab a hold of somebody and sure. say, let's hug it out. Right. Let's hug. But she she gave, she kind of gave me that look and she kind of turned her body a little bit and we both like put our arms up like we were going to hug, like a side hug. You know what I'm saying? Not not the full. <laughs> yeah, not the full bear not, hug. Not the full but the, bear. Like the but bro just hug. The, like, like just, the bro hug, yeah, you know? Almost. Like almost the handshake with yeah. the half hug. Yeah. We yeah. put our arms up and, and we just kind of met right there and, and that was it. And I was like, oh my God, please tell me why you're here because this is really, really awkward. odd, awkward for oh, me. That's yeah. awesome. So she just, but she, you know, she's a champ. She's a yeah. pro. She just went right on with her business like nothing ever happened. And if you ask her, she probably would be like, what the hell is he talking He's about? like, I don't remember any of that. No. And I haven't, <laughs> dude, that is one of my favorite things ever. Like when that situation, that awkward, when you're, you see somebody and you go like nobody. It might have been like a long time since you've seen him, so you don't know if yeah. you want to go in like good buddy, but you don't know if you want to go for the handshake, or yeah. the half hug, or the full on. And then so like my my thing is what I love to do is like I'll act like I'm gonna engage in a hug for a second, and then like if, when the other person starts to reciprocate, yeah, then I just stop and I'll walk away, <laughs> 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 like I, I just to make it awkward, you know. Yeah. Like that's always fun. Or like if they're good enough or smart enough, where if I'm going in and they like extend a hand out or something, it's just beautiful, man. It's like I, I want to give you a hug even more now just because you like you kept it being awkward. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's so yeah. funny, but that, that it was it was great. If you had been there, oh, I would have laughed, laughed yeah. your head off. That would have been awesome because it was really weird. Because she looked at me like a family member yeah. and came at me real quick, like, "Oh, yay! It's so awesome to see you!" And then just like remembered, "Oh, he's he's just my husband's business partner." <laughs> he just well, she was probably she so excited to see somebody that she knew. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, because she was standing out in the lobby, yeah. and the receptionist was just like. You know, looking at her like, who's who's that that girl out there? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then she was like, oh, and I'm a, like, a and I see face. her, I see her out through you know through a window, and I'm like, ah, there's Maddie. What's she doing here? So, yeah, yeah. it would have been awesome. That would have been good. It was. It was really good. She did mention as she stopped by to see it, but she didn't. She didn't divulge too many details. If, if yeah. you will. So. Yeah. Because it was nor, too weird. Nor the awkwardness of no. that encounter. <laughs> so. So you think I might be off the hook? I think you're good. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a couple. Uh, what you were those things? Voodoo dolls. Yeah. That have your likeness. Yeah. I'm not. I can't guarantee that they're you, mind mm. you, but they could be. <laughs> Speaking of which, I saw something funny today. Well, you know how you live in uh, Amish country. Right? I do. Yes. And it's weird. Amish dudes are weird enough. Like the like the Amish people do weird stuff, but Amish guys are particularly odd. I noticed on the way in today. I was driving to the studio, and. uh I saw like three of them, okay? Okay. And they, it's so funny because, and, and Grant, I'm in a car, so they're not going to say, they're not going to say hi or yell something at me. Oh, But no. they always, they always just give you the, even if they don't know you, they give you the, the either the wave, mm-hmm. it's generally a wave. They don't usually do the nod thing. No. I don't know if they're up on that game. No. They're not about that life, but, <laughs> but they give you the wave, you know, and they have that just kind of, they're the stoic. 
yeah. face, oh, oh, yeah. facial expression, no emotion. But um, if it's a sunny day, they'll be wearing three hundred dollar Oakleys. That's for sure. Well, that yeah. and, and and a jacket. <laughs> yeah. it was like it's like almost seventy out, and some dude was in a in a denim, a denim jacket. jacket. I don't I don't, I don't yeah. know what that was about. Maybe just to cover up some of that must. It holds in the stank. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But anyway, stank um, blanket. Usually when you see TM it, stank blanket, better not oh, see it. Pound sign, <laughs> pound sign, stank blanket. That's right. Get that hashtag crap out of here. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, no, uh, I saw like generally you see a younger Amish dude in his like his thirties, let's say, or like mm. late twenties, always thin. Generally, yeah, generally because they're working good, yeah. out in the field all Absolutely. the time. It's constant, man. It's like sun up to sundown. They're working like crazy. Yeah. So generally, you don't see him out of shape. I saw one today, man, that looked like I don't know if he was hitting the pies a little bit or what his role is within the Amish community, but he was a rotund fella, and he was and he was younger, like really? like in his thirties. I was like, how, how are you? Like normally the old yeah fat Amish dudes are older. Yeah, absolutely. Like they got the yeah. beard. Clearly absolutely. been married for a while. Eat, yeah. get no beard, so right. he's single, right? Because they beard up when they get married. So he had no beard, no beard, and he and like, he, uh, are we talking John Candy? Are we looking at John? No, because Candy? John Candy was a, was a taller dude too, wasn't he? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, this guy was. I'm going to peg him at about five uh, nine, okay. max, max, All mind right. you. And uh, he wasn't like super huge, but yeah, but. For for an Amish fellow, I was taken aback a little bit. I was like, "That's a that's a lot of weight for that dude." Was he jolly though? Did he give you a big? Oh, smile he was. A, well, he yeah. not a big smile. He gave me a wave. Yeah, gave me a wave. I didn't and I didn't wave back. I gave him a nod. Wait, I gave him a nod to let him know to open him up to that world. Sure, you know, I don't I don't know him. You know what right. I mean? So yeah. I, I feel like if I would have waved at him, that he would have maybe taken that in a different way than it was meant. Like we're friends now. Like an act of aggression? No, or? no, I'm gonna say that. I don't I don't I don't know about the Amish people. I don't know what their like uh set off point is, like what, what I will something I would do to infuriate them. Like if I would wave at them, is that like a primate show Corey, of his teeth? Are you are you afraid that by waving at the Amish man he would have thought you wanted to to back him? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no. No. I don't know. I'm not about the Amish life, okay? I don't know what they do. I don't know what their practices are. I don't know I don't know I anything think about waving them. though is, is pretty uh, No, common. I I wave, but I don't you know he caught me it was quick. You know, usually you get nothing or you get a wave. But you were able to give him an ocular pat down. I'm Quickly. Sure. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in that time you didn't you He was unarmed at the okay. moment. Sure. Now I don't know about his combat skills. Karate. Well, martial arts any of that you know but yeah. he was unarmed at the time okay he had some glasses on i couldn't see and and that's where you really tell you get the you look through the windows to the soul there mm-hmm. huh then you gauge for real what's going on because he might have been super angry about something he could have been marching his way down the road to murder an entire amish family well, I'm glad, i don't know i'm glad you made it through that it okay, was it was a hard here. time it was a hard time i got through it though you know the only thing that helped me through it Knowing that I could get here and enjoy some delicious Pepsi Max. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Did you like oh, that? Holy! Smokes. That transition was flawless. That was beautiful. That was professional grade. It really was. That was professional grade. It really was. I might even edit some like hand claps or something. In the, you should into that. You should throw that. That was in beautiful, there. man. Look at the studio. Look at this place. It's destroyed from last night. What'd you do? Girls were nuts. Yeah. We had yeah. While I was editing, we were sharing a sharing space. With uh, the Hunger Dames, the all girl band that, yeah. that are yeah that are practicing, getting ready to go out there. This That's place cool. was Alive. out of control. It was they were knocking dust off everything, well, which is easy to hammered. do because it's pretty dusty in here. Yeah, again, it it's it's a real rapey vibe. Well, but I'm sure really, that helped out. That churched it up. Was it kind of a rave? Did you guys yeah, because they were all really young, <laughs> and I mean that that kind of young where my wife was down here too. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kind of keeping an did, eye, just yeah, locked in on came, you. She's like, because I told her about it. She's like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go to the studio with you tonight. You know, it's a nice, quiet place to grade some papers and stuff. Oh, really? Nice and quiet. Yeah. You're sitting there grading, just locked in on you. As <laughs> not even looking at, not yeah. even looking at papers. <laughs> As a 19 year old girl is belting out Angus Young tunes and. Yeah. Oh, so they cover uh, cover some DC, some Ace Deuce. They do some Ace hey. Deuce, some Zep. Okay. Some, yeah, yeah, some old, yeah, old yeah. stuff. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Stuff uh, you know, I, I just started. Talking. I just started getting into a little bit of more of that doing some because uh, I look for uh, new workout songs, which okay. I like working out to rock. 
it gets you a good motivator, sure. you know, and some rap. Sure. But, but uh, uh, Motorhead? Yeah. They're not bad. Um, Pantera. Too bad you get into them just after their lead singer dies. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's all good. I mean, I'm listening to the old stuff anyway. I'm Lemmy. Not, yeah, man. Yeah. Which, which, which – We'll talk about this at another time. I watched like a 10-second documentary on, on Motorhead. A 10-second? Oh, it was longer than that, but, but I only watched, watched it for 10 seconds. Uh, so, <laughs> no, but they, like uh, all the rest of the recording artists were like, they were. They said that they were a scare, uh, a scare. They were scared of Motorhead. They're nuts. Dudes are nuts. Yeah, but. Come on, man! I mean, they he was guitars, little. Bro. He was little, and and it, but I mean, all, out of respect. I mean, a lot of dudes like right. respected him like but a god with a small G. Yeah, I got you. But that's come on, man. I th- I think that the music and or entertainment business they throw that shit around a lot of course, about yeah. people being into. Like, come on, dude, you playing a band, man? Yeah, like. D- d- a person that would be intimidating is a professional MMA fighter because yeah. he can murder you with yeah. his bare hands. All yeah. right? That's somebody that you'd be scared of. Not a dude yeah. that strums on a guitar and gets yeah. angry and drunk and high. Yeah. How about, yeah, how about we don't get the <laughs> MMA guy all methed out? Yeah. How about we don't? So he do starts that seeing that. demons and then starts <laughs> killing everybody. Yeah. Just, you know, roundhouse mm. kick your grandma on <clears> the teeth. It's funny that you say that because um, one of my boys made a comment about. Angus, you know how he always puts his Angus is the guitar player yes. for AC. Oh, right, he right. always puts his fingers up there like little devil horns. I did and not stuff. know that, but and then and then people because they called him the little devil back in the day. Oh, okay. Um, now at, at the concerts and stuff, you can buy the little horns. You know, okay, you can put on yeah, your head yeah, and yeah stuff sure, like sure. That. And people think that <clears throat> I've even heard people say, "Well, ACDC, you know what that stands for, man? ACDC, man, come here, come here. Stands for Antichrist, oh, Devil's Child." Oh, my God. No. Yeah, people thought it stood for it, that's a Something with electricity, right? Yeah. Um, Malcolm, the you know the guy that Lead started singer. it all, <clears throat> yeah, he saw it on the back of his mom's Singer sewing machine and oh. thought it just looked cool. ACDC. Right. Yeah. So he just thought it was cool. <laughs> well, so hey, that's a, yeah, it but, worked, man. People doing all that stuff. Yeah, man, they're, they're devil worship. No, they're not. No, talk stop to, it. Listen to them talk for two minutes. Right, they, yeah. They could care less about any of that. Not a chance. They just want to make music. Speaking of inter- uh, entertainment <sighs> business, though, um, did you hear the, hear about the story that just just broke this week about Mr. Malkovich's uh, movie? Yeah, about Purple Rain. Man, sorry, dude. No, Let's pour a little bit out, dude. For... He died like what a month ago now. Oh, we can still pour a little that bit out into the thing. mouth. Yeah, for him, a little bit of Pepsi mm. Max, Pepsi Max, zero <laughs> calorie cola. <laughs> Still not getting those checks. <laughs> Maybe sometime. Maybe someday. Who knows? It's coming. <laughs> but yeah, dude, uh, John Malkovich. I don't know if most people know him. Oh, I'm sure that they've odd. seen a movie. Have you met him? You know I, him. I don't know him. I oh. wish I did. I've not met him. But um, he, uh, he's he been in a lot of movies. Um, recent movies. Red. Uh, yeah. I can't think of anything else but that. <laughs> But action-y, I, I think he's been in some action-y uh, stuff. One that was pretty good was one that he was in with um, Clint Eastwood, man. Uh, it's where he uh, he was trying to kill the president, and Clint Eastwood was a, a Secret Service Oh, yeah. Member that was involved in the Kennedy shit. I don't remember what it's called, but that's a solid flick, man. Yeah, it is. That's not a bad movie. Uh, I can't. I cannot uh, remember I the name, man. I can't pull that up uh, either. Yeah. And it's, it's going to eat at me, but that that's a good movie. Bad. But anyway, he uh, has done something... And and I, I kind of want to get your take on it because I have my own opinion. But he you made know. a movie that is due to be released a hundred years from now. I'm sorry. You did it. Yeah, he made a movie. Okay, I got so that. I understand now, the making of movies. Made that, and it's going to be okay. released in 2015. Last oh, year. Hundred. No. <laughs> 2015. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I'm 100 years off. Hundred years off there. Okay. Now, uh, the movie is, uh, it's, it's the, the tagline it is the movie you will never see. Um, is there a title for the movie, though? It's, I think it's called The 100-Year Movie. I don't, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Are you serious? I, I don't even know if it has a title, but I just think it's the movie that's going to be released 100 years from now. Like, that's the title of the movie. I have, I have no idea what it's about because it's shrouded in uh, secrecy, if you will. They're not going to tell us anything about Dude, it. Dude, he's not he's not coming off of anything. 
But uh, the only thing that they're saying is that he's going to store this thing uh, over in France, or it's, that's when it's going to be. That's where it's going to be uh, shown in twenty one fifteen. Okay. Who's he doing this with? Who's underwriting all this? Uh, I don't know who he's underwriting with, but apparently um, he probably paired up with Robert Rodriguez, who has his own oh. production company. Um, yeah, Dust to Dawn, and and uh, so yeah, the ah. Uh, my my take on it is this, you know, either it could be a hoax, like he could be, it could be a PR thing for the movie, whatever, um, and it could not even they could not even have made a movie. They just want to see if somebody would actually wait a hundred years, which he'll never right. know because he'll be dead, um, which just seems kind of asinine or weird. Um, but what's your what's your take on it? What do you think? I mean, like <laughs> that's it's so un, it's so unheard of in t- in certain terms of why would you do it? Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I can't wrap my my mind around it yeah. on why. It must be one of those artist things. I guess I, I don't know. I can't imagine because there are people. There are people who have have. Um, uh, I, f- I forget her name. Um, she wrote a book or a, a book or some type of short story or something that she agreed with this organization that she wouldn't release for a hundred years. Really, there's music. The thousand know, the, year song. The thousand year song, yeah. Which that's kind of stupid to me. I, we were talking <laughs> about this before the show. Because number one, it's a a song that plays a thousand years is just just dumb. <laughs> number one, no one is going to listen that long because you can't. And number two, yeah, the way I understand that song is it's twenty it's twenty minutes looped with an algorithm algorithm. Uh, yeah. Um. If, and that's just it. So some some dude made a twenty minute song like you didn't actually. Make a thousand, thousand year song or anything like that, but uh, right. But anyway, uh, in the line of fire. Ah, yes, that was it. John that Malkus was it. just came yep. to me. Um, that was it. So yeah, it's, that, that's a little weird. This, this, I mean, it has. A, I mean, it's it's cool because it's generating some buzz. But um, that's just it. He's sixty two years old. Yeah, man. He's not knocking it out of the park anymore. But he never was right. one of those guys no. that was in your face all the time. Right. He's he's played in a lot of stuff, but he's not. Yeah, he's not the. He, and he's popular to a sense. I wouldn't say he's like an A-list celebrity now. He might have been at one point in time, but people sure. know him. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he hasn't he hasn't put out a movie that he was he, a starred in. No, that has been big for no. a long time. Right. You know, so it's just weird. I don't know. He's um, no Daphne Coleman. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a person that nobody. Uh, yeah, he's no John Swings and Snag and what? Like that's not even a. That's not even a person. He's a guy. I feel like you just made that up. I didn't. I didn't. So anyway, yeah, they said the physical film uh, will be displayed, but not seen, in a special safe at the Hotel Le Majestique, Ooh. Barrier, Ooh. Can, uh, Louis, <laughs> this is the longest name in mm-hmm. history, Louis, um, <laughs> the 13th Suite Members Club. So a French hotel? I'm going to say <laughs> a French hotel. Yeah. Hotel wow. hotel room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's just say, let's keep it at that. Like it can or near can? I, it's got to be. Got to, I don't, I don't know. Because it's just, a, it's a super long name and they don't really give any specific, probably trying to be kind of secretive. I mean, I'm sure I could Google that and find out where it's at. And I will, because we're going to talk about uh, how this movie is allegedly supposed to be released in 2015. Listen. But, but we're going to show it earlier. Listen, let me tell you something. You know what's involved in a movie and how many people watch the end credits. Oh, yeah. Of a movie. All of those people have access to some part of that movie. Mm -hmm. And they're going to give up little pieces of it until we have a picture of the full movie if paid properly. (laughs) Well, sure. I mean, there's that. I feel like what the movie actually is is like a five second (laughs) clip of John Malkovich. Saying like a word, and then that's it. <laughs> um, yeah. So there's probably that. So like he didn't probably need a lot of people to make the movie. No. To maybe keep that under wraps, and I'm sure they signed some confidentiality agreements. So if somebody did get a little handsy with oh, uh, some on. material, they were going to get uh, uh, sued in a bad way. But um, we're going to release this movie. Well, I'm just letting people know now. Oh, I'm sorry. We are me and you under Point Nineteen Productions. Yes. Really? Now, how are we going to get our? I mean, I realize we're worldwide on the we're web. We're pretty gigantic because the guy at the beginning says so. Yeah, 
Yeah. But Thanks. he's a handsome fella. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to plan a heist. We're going to go oh to the Majestic God. there. And we're getting that film. We don't even know if it's a hotel or motel or. Well, dude, uh, Google see. can tell us a lot. All right, they've got schematics. Oh, I'm dude, sure we can wear our Google Glass. We're gonna, things. we're gonna, we can get a heads up display or oh a HUD. God. Yeah, that way right, when we're awesome. when we're traversing through the hotel lobby and other parts of the hotel, it's gonna be a whole thing. We're gonna shut down security. I don't know if you've seen Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. It's going to be vaguely like that, only a two-man operation. Yeah. We'll probably set up some kind of splinter cell near there. Quick question. Escape route. When it comes to uh, lowering someone down into the uh, into the room. Repel. Like, uh, like Mission yeah. Impossible. Mission Impossible dude, style. Dude, dude, can dude, I be dude, Can dude, I be the guy? Dude, Will you lower dude, me down? Dude, hell yeah. You know, you know, I go about three bucks. I got, dude, I got pulleys and all kinds of stuff. It's going to be really elaborate, so... It's going to be like I'm tugging on a kitten. Awesome. But for you, it's yeah. going to be like you're weightless. You're going to dance yeah. on the air uh, like a sprite. It's going to yeah. be beautiful. I cannot wait. Plus, plus. That's going to be my favorite part. Check this out. Now, this will all have to be bleeped out, so you'll have to do that in post. Okay. But I'm going to give you a self-defense mechanism, okay? Yeah. It's, not, it's nothing lethal because we don't want murder charges, okay? No, I don't. If you get in a pinch, all right? I'm going to disguise it in several common items that you would see in a spy movie. Pens, watches, probably your glasses, okay? So if somebody comes at you, you throw it, all right? It's got, as soon as it goes past a certain mile per hour, it's, it self-detonates in a effing cloud of glitter, dude, everywhere. Yeah. And you can't get that stuff off, man. If it, that gets in somebody's eyes, they're blind for life, for sure. So you're good. That's unreal. That's how you then. That's how you go back to Plan B. We uh, where you smash through the glass box that encases yeah. the film, grab it, and we go to our exit strategy. X fill. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. You it's like per- it? The, the perfect plan. It sounds like to me. <sighs> it's pretty. We've not even jotted any of it down. I haven't looked at a single schematic. We won't need to. I'm going to use that think. word about a thousand We're Americans. times. Americans. So it's if, in our blood and. My thing is seals are American. Planet? Yeah, why plan it when you could just wing it and it'll probably still work out? I feel like you're gonna get caught more if you have a plan. Look at all the terrorists that get caught. They're always yeah. planning something out. Just go do it. Then they yeah. won't. They can't catch you. There's no information to be like, hey, this guy's. Uh, you see the schematic? They're planning something. Yeah, look how well they planned out the uh, Nakatomi building. See? Yeah. Yeah. Caught. Yeah. Us? Mm. Now we show up, get it done. I say I need the room next door. They have no idea because they don't know that I know where it's already at. Hmm? Huh? Okay. I drill through the wall. Diversion. But if it you is... come through the ceiling, snag. Huh? Yeah. I fight off about a thousand guys with my kung fu skills. Yeah. All right, whilst you're making the getaway. I've got the fake copy of the film in a duffel bag. They think it's real. On a I thumb deploy drive. some glitter bombs. You don't need a duffel bag for a thumb drive, but it looks cooler. Yeah, it looks way more legit. Case. Yeah, briefcase. A briefcase, uh, a briefcase with, with the, a uh, handcuff. <laughs> no, yes, it's got to be a briefcase. It'll be a full size briefcase, but when you open it, it'll be full of that foam stuff and just a cutout for a real small <laughs> drive or just a tiny little drive. I like that, <clears throat> but as a diversion and a time waster, mm-hmm. um, I'm going to put in a bunch of those packing peanuts. Keep it low budget. And then hide it in there, so they'll ha- it'll take them at least two to three minutes. Keeping that budgie down to, there to just yeah. to look for it, giving you time to escape. Well, we've got a plan. Damn I mean, it! Now but, we're going to get yeah. caught. Yeah. No, we don't have a plan. This is all, all right. just loosely thought out right now. Okay, we'll jot it down on a piece of loose leaf paper. We'll keep that in our back pocket. All right. Well, that does sound like a plan. So you guys will be seeing that sometime next year. Mm-hmm. Wink. Maybe sooner. I don't want to let them. I don't want to tip them off to when we're coming. Are they telling us anything about the movie? Like, are 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 they going to say, okay, that movie's done now and it's put away? Why would they do it? Why would they announce it now? I think I think just for publicity. Yeah, of course, it's for publicity. I mean, but, John Malkovich is sixty-two. He's got another maybe. You know, well, who knows? Who ten knows? years, fifteen years in the. Well, business. he could live to hundred. 
Yeah, sure you could. Well, yeah, now people are running sprints in a hundred. Yeah, dude. Yeah, they're they're gonna uh, they're gonna figure out something. A hundred's the new thirty. Right. That's what I've been hearing. Yeah. So. Hundred year olds living with their parents. <laughs> it's insane. Could you imagine? It's insane. Oh, we of, need to take yeah, a break. We're a bit pat. We're a bit long. And by the way, this is the B Team with Corey and Jim. Hey, B Teamers, this is Jim, letting you know that our quality all cotton pre shrunk tagless tea is now available in our store. From the beach to the boardroom, nothing says, hey, look at me, I'm adequate, like a B Team with Corey and Jim t shirt. So go to our website at point19productions.com and get you some. Hi, this is author Emma Woods. When I have an hour to burn, I listen to the B-Team with Corey and Jim. O'Brien Medicine. When you care about people, you create relationships, trust, and loyalty that no amount of money can buy. When you care about people, you are truly making a difference in their lives. Better health and wellness through medical and alternative treatments makes our patients' lives better. O'Brien Medicine. Offering same-day appointments and flexible scheduling to meet your needs. O'Brien Medicine, tailored treatment options including nutrition, exercise, and medical interventions. Find out more at O'BrienMedicine.com or call 614-344-7601. O'Brien Medicine, home of the same day appointment. You got an hour to kill? Stop on by the Bad Monkey Studios and get you some of that B team. We're back. Uh, so anyway, we'll, uh, most people know they can look into it a little bit, but check it out, man. Dude's releasing a movie 100 years from now. It's crazy. There's not really much. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I think it's going to come out earlier, but it's, it's going to. It's going to. Well, I mean, it's gonna we're going to release it, but I already told you. It, there's it, too it, many people. If there's, if there's more than ten people involved, you're going to see that right. movie. It'll, it'll, you'll, you'll see it. On, it'll be on Napster or yeah. uh, Napster. That Napster. Doesn't exist <laughs> exist anymore. Showing some age there. Uh, <laughs> you'll be able to download it through a BitTorrent. <laughs> I'm going to watch it on my Zenith television, <laughs> my on LaserDisc. Colored- <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, let me tell you something. I was doing a little research over this weekend. We get a lot of rain. Lately, right? Yeah, and I was seeing that. a you lot like of to toads. Hit the woods. You hit the seeing woods. a lot of toads lately, yeah. okay. and I discovered the leading cause of death for toads in America. Funny you say that because I know the leading. Well, cause let's of hear death. it. Let's hear your theory. It's likely frogs are suffering with herpes. What mm-hmm. on earth? <laughs> One of the diseases frogs can pick up is herpes. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> I did not. This displays as gray or white lumps and bumps on the skin. Sure, that's... Usually limited to one or two individuals and has no discernible effect on their health or behavior. Little herpes. But how's it... How about that? If you suspect differently, please let me know. Well... During the summer and early autumn, predators and disease may be responsible for frog and toad deaths. But the horse shit you're about to lay out for us... No. It is certainly... Okay. Not the, let's just let mm-hmm. me just dispel a couple myths right off the bat. First of all, this herpes thing, it's not even lethal. So they're not dying from herpes. Hey, do you know I have herpes? Hey, well, good for you. No, I really do in real life. Like genital? It, no. <laughs> it comes out. My doctor believes I got it from the, uh, as my dad would have said, my wrestling days. Oh, sure. Back yeah. on the mats. Uh, where in the it comes out once a year. I break out. In like uh, Hives. in this area, on the, on the in, inside stuff. of my arms yeah. and and like inside of my legs, I I've gone to doctors and sitch, yeah, and they've that said, could be they said yeah, that's infection. a form of that's a form of herpes. There's or a lot herpi. of I don't herpi. Yeah, that's a, there's a lot of forms of herpi out there, and uh, yeah, that's not killing frogs. Have you ever seen herpi? <laughs> but I'll give you this. Tell us, predators, sure, okay, foxes or whatever, coyotes. They, they're they're maybe even some raccoons, you know. Yeah. They're gonna get a toad or two, but how many are they gonna get in a night, on average? Maybe one, maybe two. If I guess this, can I have your Pepsi Max? Can I guess yeah. what it is? Go. You think the Squatch is no, collecting no. toads no. and eating them? Because it would take they a like lot. They like bread. So. They want donuts and creams, cream filled donuts. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> Various creams and lotions. 
<laughs> and donuts. No, what's killing toads is rain. <sighs> yeah. Here's how. What? Here's okay. why. I don't Please. know. I don't know what the draw is from a toad. Okay, that's living a toad life. As soon as it starts to rain, all of a sudden, every toad in America comes onto the roadway. And what happens on the roadway? They stand right in the pathway of the tire, and a car yeah. runs over it. I probably killed more toads last night than <laughs> any coyote is going to kill the entire year. Really? You think coyotes kill toads? They probably eat them. Sure. All right. So there it is. Rain Do, is the number is the leading cause of death. Is it rain that's killing them, or is it the cars? Well, sure. Kill- I mean, it's indirect cause. Ipso of facto. Ca- right. I mean, <laughs> spit it however you want, tomato, potato. It's the rain that's bringing them out. Okay, that's like right. the that's like the siren song, if you will. And they oh, what's this? Ooh, what's this rain out here? Yeah, smacked by a tire. So I'm blaming. That reminds me of another story. <laughs> Let's hear it. When you were a kid, did you ever go looking for the big worms to take uh, fishing? The night crawlers. The night crawlers. Yeah. How did you get them out of the ground? I, I, I just didn't, pick them I up didn't from the dig them out. Yeah, I mean, we did dig them like, just with a shovel. Do you know water. what we did as kids? Rain. Soapy water. Yeah, dude. Or water in general. So- it doesn't have to be soapy. No. They don't need to be clean for fish to eat them, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm telling you. We used to put like dish soap in a bucket, yeah, and go out and and put it on the yard, and and they would come right up. How many would you get? Would you just say, uh, three hundred and six? That's a lie. That is a full blown lie. Because honestly, how much how much surface area is that going to cover? That's not going to bring up three hundred and sixteen earthworms. Those things are huge. Come out tonight. All right, let's do it. Come out with me. Well, let's, we got and a fishing trip anyway. We got to we got to schedule one. There's something else they do. And they they call it like burping or belching or worms. Some yeah they they put a, a thing in the ground, okay yeah uh, like a, a, a stick that's it, shaped it's round shaped like a stick they kind of stick that in the ground and then they rub another thing over top of it and like it makes that it makes that and the vibration the vibration apparently brings them to the surface. I had no idea you knew so much about the earthworms. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> they, yeah. Oh, so you're, they're basically, they're, they're pie pipering these fucking earthworms. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're hitting their little, what is that thing? Xylophone, <laughs> yeah. One of those are hitting one of those little uh, little wooden blocks no, or something, no, no, it's and then not. all of a sudden they're like, "Oh no. shit!" Like, <laughs> <Eric> "Damn, girl!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's no, it's not band instruments. It's just like a, a piece of wood. I wish I knew what it was what it was actually called, but it's it's got. I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah, you've got you you've colored me intrigued. They, they they jam it into the ground and then they rub another stick against it and it makes it's got grooves in it so it makes like a. Yeah. So as they rub it, and that causes vibration. God, pipe pipe bring the worms. That's awesome. Yeah, and it brings them brings them to the surface. Do they dance too, like cobras when they get out? <laughs> no. Don't you don't you cobra dare. slam? <laughs> uh, don't you dare? I don't know. I don't know anything about earthworms. You you I'm are enlightening me. I'm a uh, learned man. Clearly, <laughs> I, the only thing I know about earthworms is if you get Canadian night crawlers, your fishing's going to be better. What? If you go get most prepackaged night crawlers, they're going to say Canadian on there. Is that true? I think so. No. I, all the packages that I see around the pond usually say Canadian night crawlers, and they're and they're followed by the bat, blue cans floating a boot. I have a question for you. Go. What do you know about false killer whales? Not much. And when I saw this story, dude, oh my god, it blew my mind. I knew that killer whales killed sharks. I knew yeah. that. Uh, if you if you didn't know, if you thought the shark was the apex predator in the ocean, you'd be wrong. Really? Because it's the killer whale, bro. Okay. Right? Yeah, killer. That's in, right in the title of the name. Yep. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, there was, you know, the dudes that fly the little drones, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amateur dronists. I'm a drone master, yeah. Are you? Uh, second Ten, degree. Sec, sec, I'm yep. going to say level 70. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So anyway, in Australia, there's a guy. He was doing some amateur droning. 
he caught footage of something called, okay, well, a pod is what they call it, of four false killer whales, which I don't know what that is. And I've I didn't never do heard it, of it. I've not heard of it either. No. I didn't even know it existed. I, uh, was it just a fake killer whale? Like, it's, is it big dolphins pretending to be killer whales? I don't know. Yeah. Blows my mind. But anyway, the dude's name is Bruno Kataoa or Oka. Kataoka. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He'll anyway, never be on the show. He's an amateur dronist. Well, we might. We'll reach we out We only have to him. pro dronist on this That's show. That's true. That's true. That is true. What's an amateur going to talk to us about? Um, crashing Drowning. airplanes yep. at airports. Uh, <laughs> yep. But anything. We, we already talked about the Hawks. That's yes, coming to did. America, bro. Yep. Trust me. Yep. And like, you see how well that works over in uh, Europe. <laughs> I'm bringing it over here. Uh, anyway, so he films. He's, he's doing his drone thing and sees... This pod of false killer whales chased down. Now, granted, this is an adolescent shark. It's not a big one. But uh, chase down a shark and, and kill it to eat it, which apparently is remarkable because uh, getting footage of these false killer whales, even from like scien- a scientific perspective, is like, incredibly hard. It takes like, months to do. And this dude just happens to be drone in a boot one day, nails it, gets it, gets it on video. It's amazing. Blew my mind. Blew my mind. So uh, what what he said about the incident was that we did not expect to see what we saw. It was really uh, an exciting moment. Uh, National Geographic guys waiting months to get such a thing, and we just happened to be there at the right time, uh, right moment, at right time to uh, capture it. So the, these things are supposed to be like 10 to 16 feet long. Holy which, smokes. Which, I mean, 10 feet is yeah pretty big, but 16 yeah. feet is large. 16, yeah. 16 feet is large. Um but you're uh, getting into boat size. Yeah, you get some. Butter. There's large mammals right there. But anyway, like killer whales, or AKA orcas, false killer whales are not actually whales, but dolphins. Look at this. God, I'm good. It's just yeah, you, take a second. Knowledge. Take a just. We'll take a look. Mental spank bank. Uh, <laughs> false killer whales and killer whales share some physical traits, and both hunt other marine uh, mammals, but. Whale facts notes that they're uh, that the two are not closely related. So um, what they think happens is that on rare occasion, false killer whales uh, mated with the bottlenose dolphins, uh, resulting in a hybrid known as a wolfen. A wolfen? Yeah, you gotta accentuate the uh, wh. A wolfen. Wolfen. Which you consequently is, is this, that's is this my, a, this, this is, is a real story. story. Is this no, story? this is a real story. And, um, that's my new spirit animal is a Hwalfen. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make some teach, uh, pound sign Hwalfen, by the way. False killer whales have mated with bottlenose dolphins. You're right. I just looked it up. Resulting in a hybrid known as a Hwalfen. I'll be, <laughs> why have I never heard of I this? I don't know. I feel like this should be on the forefront of American news right now. Because you know me, I'm ocean going, and uh, wolfins are apparently more dangerous than sharks. So, you know, if you're swimming Jesus. about in the ocean and a wolfin uh, grabs a hold of you, good game. You you, you made a run at it. I, yeah, but you, it's it's a wrap on your life. I knew the killer whale was an orca. Right, right. So the false killer whale is not actually a whale, but a dolphin. No, it's a wolfin that's done some effing. With an orca. And everybody's getting laid. <laughs> but this much. <laughs> <laughs> Got. That's unreal, man. Dude, yeah, everything. <clears throat> Pretty much, you know, one thing, this is this is constant throughout life. You're going to learn. Um, everybody is trying to affect somebody. Yeah. Clearly. Walfins. Even in the Pound sign Walfin. Pound sign. When do you think the Walfin's going to make a make an appearance in SeaWorld? I bet you they want one pretty bad. Not especially after the Blackfish yeah. uh, documentary yeah. fiasco. Yep, they're wanting a wolfin. Yeah, a little bit tamer, maybe. Who knows? Maybe more hostile. I know. I'd like to have a McWolfin right now. What do you think it tastes like? <laughs> I think it tastes pretty good. Sex. <laughs> Salty sex. Oh, dirty. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you know dirty, what? You know what, dude? Um, Wahlberg. Wahlberg needs to have a Hwalfen burger. They do. It goes perfect. It's perfect, man. 
<laughs> Come on down. Hey. To, was it Wahlburgers? Yeah. Get you a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. We should work for an, a, like a good. marketing or ad company. We'd make tens, twenties of dollars crushing per, it. Per week. <laughs> Probably. We would do it. Do you want to take a look at some emails? Why don't you take a look at the emails All and right. then you tell me what they sent to you and then we'll comment. Here we go. Uh, Agra angry. Why is he so angry? Says, I don't knew. How are you guys? I love the show. Jim has mentioned living on a farm. How much dirt does he have? I'll listen to the answer off the air. Well, yeah, you will because you emailed it in. Yeah. I think somebody's <laughs> making a funny joke there because there was a, there was a smiley face that I didn't, I didn't ah. print that part. Ah. Um, yeah, what this person has done here, and thank you very much for, for loving the, yeah, the, loving the show. Yeah. But what this person has done, they think they've they've tricked me by using uh, vocab that From I'm not aware of. Only dot com. Yeah. So by also how much dirt I have that because that's how farmers say how, how much dirt you got out there. Land, right? How much how land, land do you have? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this guy trying to code word it in, thinking you wouldn't yeah. know. So just the farm part here is 16 acres. Only farm land, right? Yeah. That doesn't there even include no the entire hunting property. Uh well that right. and uh, the um our, Fields. Our, our, what what I dub the sex capade. It's an amusement oh, park, kind of yeah. a fun room, if you will, or fun house, yeah. all related to uh, sex related objects. So that's a tent, Mostly. like a bounce house. But it's a pretty big it's, tent. It's the world's biggest bounce house, if you haven't been. Uh, Guinness, uh, look it up. It's, it's coming out. Well, next year's book, you'll be in there, but you won't find it in 2016. Yeah, but they, we we had them out. But anyway, uh, Agra. <laughs> I would say sixteen probably, acre, probably to, just just working sixteen acres, probably in the thirty or forty overall. Really? So yeah, nice bit of a plantation, huh? Or are those right. way bigger? I don't well, know. Well, it's, it's just know, easier. So. More land you got, easier to hide bodies. Is very true. Yeah, because yeah. who's going to go walk in the middle of a field? Bowery Boo two twenty two says, "Funny show about Johnny Manziel." I can't believe the guy is pissing away such an awesome chance at a career. What are your favorite sports teams? My favorite sports teams? It's funny that they would mention uh, Johnny Manziel. I do like the Cleveland Browns. Uh, The Chudley Cannons. Oh, the Chudley Cannons. I mean, because I had a stint. I tried out. I mean, I didn't make the team. But uh, (laughs) I'm not going to hold that against him. That's the Quidditch. That's the the Quidditch Quidditch squad. Yep. They are awesome. They're like the Golden State Warriors. Of the Quidditch world right now. They're the hottest thing out. <laughs> if the a, Golden State Warriors were nerd gays? No, 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 no. Um, well, sure. But uh, if uh, – I'm sure people have heard of Steph Curry. Sure. It's really, really odd, but the Judley Cannons have a guy named Bleff Murray on their team. Really? He's their, he's their best player. I look it up. I'm not making this up. Look it up. If no. you Google it, he, it'll come up, Judley Cannons. Pop Cannon. right up. Picture of him? And everything? Well, he does one of those things like, uh, whatchamacallit, what's, who's that punk? Uh, Daft Punk. He always oh, wears right. a mask. Yeah. So you don't know his face. You can't see his face. Buckethead. That's from my day. Buckethead. Bucket. Hey, um, yeah, what else, though? What, what are your what, favorite sports teams? What about, what about uh, ba- the baseball? Baseball. Um, people pick up a theme. I, I don't really watch a lot of baseball. Who's your favorite hurler? If you, well, I don't watch <laughs> curling generally, but. Uh, um, I'm fond of the Canadian team. Uh, no, I don't. I don't know, the man. Twins? I, I don't watch. I don't watch a lot. Oh, yeah. That's Minnesota. It's close enough. <laughs> uh, I don't watch a lot of baseball, man. Um, I have a soft spot for the Cubs because it's been a while. I'm rooting for really? them. Rooting for them. To, which they're just really good this year. So maybe, huh? They might yeah. pull it off. And you're from not a, a place that's near Chicago. Right. Right. So. so. Wow. But I know some people from in. there. So. I don't have to be from that region to like the team. I'm a homer, man. Yeah, I'm a homer. The Browns, the Tribe. I do like the Indians. I, I root for the Indians too. Yeah, I like them. I want them to win because they're they're most. I don't know if people know if you follow baseball. I follow loosely enough to know that they're the second longest stint of not winning a. World do you Series. know who we have to have on here to talk about all this stuff Go. that we don't know about? He will make us look and feel 
Retatted. Retatted. About about the stuff. Bill G. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get I him think, on. Well, he's on the road. Well, but when he gets back, sports show. We'll do, uh, we'll we haven't do done it. a sports show. We need to do a. I mean, you guys sp- did a yeah. pseudo sports show with Mansell. The yeah, show right. I wasn't here. Yeah. But other than that, <laughs> you didn't make fun of us at all for that show for doing. 40, I mean, that's a lot minutes. of time to dedicate to that guy, <laughs> and we're de- we're dedicating too much right now. I'm just okay. pissed off this person even emailed Mansell. <laughs> but thank you, Bowery Boo. Boo boo. Uh, Brantley esque. God, that's his fancy name. So speaking of Bill G. Uh, I caught a stand-up show with Bill G and thought I was going to throw up my two-drink minimum. <laughs> what a lightweight. Do you do you guys actually hang out with him? Can you keep up with him at the salad bar? Ha <laughs> ha, because he's big fella. <laughs> keep up the awesome shows. You guys are hilarious. Thank you, Brantley. Esk- it looks like Brantley. Brantley. Oh. Maybe he oh. does burlesque. Like Brad, but, Brad and Les. I don't care. It doesn't. Matter. I said. I said a long time ago. I was going to stop picking those names apart. Yeah. Well, it's fun. I'm just going to start I just, saying I'm a, cur- an I'm, emailer. I'm curious about how um, people come up with these names. You know. Yeah. It's it's intriguing to me. It's genius. I wouldn't say something, that. I wouldn't say like anything <laughs> about genius in the same sentence, but it's All just right. intriguing. So what's he saying? He said he caught a stand-up show with, yeah, Bill, with G Bill G. Thought G. he was going to throw. It. So he thought it was funny. Or he got, um, he was so offended, he almost. And he wants to know, out, know if we hang out with Bill G, not as much as we'd like, but right. on occasion. When, yeah, stop. Uh, he's, he's, been, on, he's been the most active guest on the show. Yeah. For sure. We yeah. got him, what, three times? Yeah. Right. Yeah, he stood sure. in. Yeah. Yep. I think he's been on three times. We'll have him on again, clearly, we're, if we if we rock out this sports we'll show. We'll call it our game show. Oh, come on. Nice. Talking about sports. That's solid. Yeah, thank you. That's uh, solid. TM hash uh, uh, tags. Found all, sign. All those things. Game show. Uh, but yeah, we, we Copy like to right. out with it. Can you keep up with him at the salad bar? Nope. I bet I done could. Done and done. I bet I could. I'll take that challenge. That's what we should do too, challenge. Eat off. Have you seen him come through that doorway? Yeah, he's a big guy. I'm not afraid of it. Okay. I'll throw up to win to win a challenge Regarding well, you food. don't, you know, you don't win if you throw up. I know that's it, but I would <laughs> if I had to. No, okay. I take it. No, this is why this is my thing with food. Um, you know, I'm a fat kid at heart, man. Um, I take it as a personal challenge. If if somebody tells me, like, if I go to a restaurant, okay, and there's something on there that somebody says that I've never seen anybody finish the whole mm. thing, or or something to that effect, I order it. And yeah. I say, you about to see, I do the Joey Tribbiani. Yeah. You fellas about to see something really special. <laughs> and then I, then I destroy it. I'm not, I don't shy away from a challenge. Don't so I'll surf and turf if somebody tells me that I can't. Let me, let me tell you this. I will do that. Excuse me. I can't say I'm it's so hard sorry. healthy, but um, <laughs> that Max creeping back I will up. do that with the, uh, with meat. Yeah. I, primarily, I can do that. like people say, oh, it's this steak's the size kind of, of your head. You won't be able to. Fi-. I, I would destroy it. I would destroy it. I got it. It's the the problem I would have would be the other stuff that's on the plate. Right. I would eat the steak, the fat, all that stuff. I would destroy that. It's I couldn't put down twelve two baked potatoes, yeah, or something like that. That's oh, how dude, I you. eat one, I eat one baked potato and I'm bloated for a day and a half, man. <laughs> Those dirty starches. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's how they get you. They try to they try to work other stuff into the meal. It's like, well, no, man. Just bring me what you think I can't finish, and then you give me the free meal. Yeah. But which I've never gotten. I always have to pay for it. They never give you the free stuff because I never do those challenges. Because every time it's something like that, where it's like I could probably do it, they always put something I don't like. I don't want to eat. Those speed eating guys make me sick. That's disgusting. That is, the, especially when they do like the hot dog, dude. Because when, when they dunk the hot dog in down water, in water, so it can slide down their uh, gullet a little oh faster. My gosh, it's like a pelican eating man. Have you ever seen one of those things? <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like they're trying to deep throw. It's 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 so gross. Are looking. they the ones that bring the babies? That's a stork. A oh. pelican eat babies. That's most people. That's a natural predator. of The stork. Oh. When they're careless, oh, dee, nee, 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 yeah. nee, it's flapping in. Yeah. Watch, it's going to be an army of pelicans, bro. Aww. That's why most people don't know storks, incredible flyers, super they, agile because they got to dodge. Be. They got to dodge those giant mouths. Uh-huh. Pelicans got huge mouths, man. 
I mean, how many babies, babies I can fit in that thing? It. Oh, I'm just telling it's you, horrible to think about. I actually smoked a pelican, man. Shotgun, twelve gauge. It came you in did when, not. when the stork was delivering our baby. One was bearing down on it, man. I it was it had some speed. Little did it know, I'm an avid waterfowler, so I was ready. Thank you for your email. Three inch magnum, Brantley. baby. <laughs> he says we're hilarious. That's yet to be seen today. <laughs> but I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Not every show is a home run. Yeah, we've been saying that long enough. For the last we're three shows. Convinced, we're almost convinced of it now. Sure. Well, yeah. I mean, listen, if you want me to sit here and spend all my time trying to make up hilarious Not jokes you. for your amusement, then you've come to the wrong show. <laughs> I don't have you time. You expect us to put work into this and write a show? I don't have time for that, okay? <laughs> I'm a busy man. I'm a man about town. You are. You know? You really are. I've got several businesses mm-hmm. and business fronts that I'm laundry. I mean, I, whoops. I do stuff. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Especially on the weekends. Yep. I have a favor I'm going to ask you. Go. If you'll allow me to do this. I will. The Stevie uh, Ray fact yeah, of the day. Yeah, fine. I will, I'm going to pass over the torch. This week. Just this week. I'll only Just ask one side. Week. This is your Stevie Ray. Fact. F- fact. Oh, the day. Oh, the day. Stevie Ray. Fact of the day. He once passed out during a concert at Montreux. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that is what made him decide he needed to get cleaned up he he was on stage oh, playing so and was, went and went out passed out on stage let me while he was you, playing did he was he able to finish the chord on the way down i think we both know that it would be awesome dude the story would be like we got to build up a legend that's not true about yeah. him passing out but him like finishing a song first yeah and then going down like like a two like the, the 10 minute solo he goes mm-hmm. <laughs> Start, just starts shredding, and then all of a sudden he's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, just when he's milking the last bit of it out at the end. Oh, uh, banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as he, yeah. and then, but it still keeps going. Yeah. 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 He's on the it starts ground. feedback. <laughs> <laughs> That's what messed up. Those sticks, dude, like if you see like Family Guy or something, like the stuff that starts off funny where it's like, it's like, it's really repetitive like that, like, yeah. ying, ying, like yeah. but it goes too far where it becomes annoying, but then it goes so long that it gets funny again yeah. because it's annoying are my favorite things yeah. ever, man. Yeah. The, the, the good stuff. Family Guy that, <sighs> oh, <laughs> when, he, when he hits his knee, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that stuff to me, man, is so funny. Or because Stewie. It, when uh, mom. Mom. Mama. Mommy. Mommy. Mama, <laughs> mom, mom, yeah, dude, it's the best. Yeah. It is the best. I'm sure some people find that the most annoying thing ever. Yeah. Which, oh, I have a great story about it. it's related to this. Go. At a college party, man, uh, we were drinking, we were partying up. There was a dude, and this uh, this is the time when the um, uh, Jamie Foxx's Gold Digger song came out. Mm-hmm. Kanye. Mm-hmm. Uh, he keep me money. That song? <laughs> yeah. Well, like just came out, man. So it was it was a big hot song at the time. Well, this guy, man, he was drunk, and we were outside mostly playing some beer pong and stuff. He was inside, only dude in there. Okay, when I got there, he was dancing by himself. <laughs> Give him money. Like he was like he was rocking out. Now that's not the funny part. Like that's funny that he was in there solo, just so hammered it didn't matter. Like he was just doing yeah. his thing. He played that song on repeat the entire night. <laughs> People were ready to fist fight that guy. <laughs> I was in the corner throwing up, man. I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life because as soon as the song was, do, 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 all you hear is, do, 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 do. He did not break stride, man. He was just sitting in there <laughs> dancing. It was, it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen. I was like, dude, that is full. I'm, I'm sure it was just him being blacked out, but if, if not, Full on commitment, man. He did not give it up. You couldn't walk in there and play another song because he'd cut it off and put that one back on. It was the best thing. It was the best thing I'd ever seen. I was like, kudos to that guy, man. He was out there doing it, getting it done. I I had a similar situation, but I was that guy. You were the dude where I was. I was playing um, music, my favorite stuff, and we were in this room. Where they had a bunch of TVs around the the outer wall, mm-hmm. and they had uh, game systems. 
It was a cool okay. party, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so people could come in and, and play. I mean, I that probably, sweet, yeah. there's like 10, 10 TVs here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And and uh, everybody was playing playing the games and stuff. So I went over and I start. I take over like the music. <laughs> I, I become the music guy, and I'm in front of the you know, and I am hammered. Oh yeah. And the reason I know is because I was hammered, <laughs> and. And I'm looking for, you know, how, how you got to squint and everything. And the, the, light, the light is low. Ah. Yeah, the light's low, everything. And um, I I put the music on, Ace Deuce, of course. Yeah, oh, sure, that's your course. go-to, man. And, I, and, and I'm cranking. I mean, you can hear it before, as, when I drop the needle on, you just get that, <laughs> you know, just before it starts. Yeah. And it's crazy loud. <laughs> the room is rumbling just from that. <laughs> and then it starts. And then it, nah, 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 you know. And <laughs> so I'm getting way into it, man. I'm dancing in front of the speakers. You just punch, everything. punch dancing your yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. Punch dancing your rage out. I'm like, I'm like, man, I am going to find somebody to <laughs> party with, man. So, you know, I turn around. Empty room, man. Not a soul is in that room. Nobody. Isn't when I dropped, worst? when I dropped that needle, oh. there was thirty-five people in there, man. And by the time, by the time I played that song, it's you know, it's, it's the third worst. run through. Oh. Yeah, they're all gone. Everybody's gone, and it was so loud. That's what I heard days later. Was that it was? Yeah, I just had to it you it so loud. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like if I could squeeze a little more out of that volume, I could hear this. Yeah, dude, that's all, that would always disappoint me, man. If I was at a party and I'd I'd be all I'd be hammered, I'd be hyped up, man. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm about to drop this sweet playlist, and I'd hit it, and then the fucking place would clear out. I'm yeah. like, God damn, man! Like that's a buzzkill. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, I'm about to rage. You're like, this is gonna be awesome. Like, hey, check this song out, <laughs> and everyone's like. Just yeah. looking at you like, just mom. And then they yeah. just leave. They just walk yeah. out like, God, come on, people. Yeah. Like, what That's you depressing. Want what do you want? want? Some Waffen burgers? Get out of here. <laughs> Got time for that? Oh, uh, man. Tell our awesome listeners how they can reach us, if you would. Ah, point19productions.com, where you can also uh, just peruse anything about us that we have up there. Uh, check out uh, our T-shirts. Buy one if you if you want. Um mm-hmm. Uh, get at us on uh, Gmail, point nineteen productions at gmail dot com. Get involved. A, get involved. Send us something. Something. Send us something. We'll send send we'll us we'll one of these awesome emails. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it on here, man. We might pick you. We're gonna we're gonna um, get the uh, technical situation figured out so we can start putting some live shows out for everybody and some vidya and some vidya. Everybody's been asking for vidya, and we've been promising it, and everybody's we've getting been mad sucking at us. D on it. So we'll, yeah. we'll we'll get after that. Um, but iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud. YouTube. You oh, find that show on there. and the blog. I found out the blog has not been going out. I've noticed. It's not been going out. I wonder why. There's an issue. Well, we're, we're oh, getting we stuff reworked. If you're a Scott, if your name is Scott, or maybe if your name isn't Scott. It can. We, we would care. prefer it to be. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, that's, I would prefer it's not a, a prereq, but it kind of is. Yeah, and if you wear cut-off shirts. It's got to be a halter toppy kind of look. Yeah. We're going to yeah. need to see some navel. Yeah. And yeah. flip flops all the time. Yeah, because that's what I've been wearing since it's been warm. Yeah, mainly just to gross Jim out. That's my favorite. He lo- he likes feet, so mm-hmm. make sure you dress him up. Toe rings, <laughs> uh, if you can get them painted or, or, or a pedicure before you come in, just yeah. to spruce it up a little bit. Don't shave anything though. He likes it hairy, um, <laughs> Frodo-y, if you will, hobbity. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we're out there. You can find us on all the uh, social media stuff, Facebook. Twitter, B Team One Nine. Get out, just get in touch. Get in touch. Please do. All I ask you to do is love somebody. Mm-hmm.